Hey, so I'm Luann, and now we're in the vehicle, and before we showed you the mirrors outside, the non-mirrors, because now all they have is this little um, radar camera outside. Inside, you actually can see the right side of your vehicle, and there's, you know how somebody will invariably get right in front when you're about to turn and you can't see anything, you're like, dude, sit back, I can't see the right side? Well, now you don't even have to think about them. It's right here instead of outside. Now, Alberta, you were telling me that on these, you can still have the, the yellow that turn, it turns yellow when there's a car next to you. Exactly, so we still have the indicator when you have an object or a vehicle in your blind spot. It will turn to yellow uh, when there's approaching your car and it's gonna be turning red when there is a car on your blind spot. And if you put your blinker on, it, will it make a noise? Uh, yes, well, not right now in this particular demonstration is not implemented, but yeah, it, it definitely it's, it's, it's possible to implement such a feature. Yeah, that's what happens on every other car. Exactly. What do you think you're doing? Exactly. <laughs> and so what we have here is a replacement, you know, of each of the mirror views. Mm -hmm. Right now, in the way we are, we have the, the corresponding image of the left-hand side uh, mirror, and the, the rear view mirror here, and the, and the right-hand side uh, mirror here. That's what I love this, because on top of the car, you have another camera that shows you the cam the rear view exactly and we can change just for demo purposes uh, we can change for example the view we can turn off this one and instead of having you turn to the right hand side all this way so it's going to be very close movement so it's going to be saving you some uh, time and the reaction time uh, it's going to be much faster with this so and we have the rear view and the uh, the right the, the right view, view over right. here so we have different views i'm just going to be show um, switching them so we have here a kind of a panoramic view oh, right. uh, yes so you got left rear and right exactly exactly and so we can have different type of views here implemented and even here this view is very interesting so what we have is the rear view mirror and we have also on the side on uh, underneath the uh, each of the cameras on the side we have a 360 degrees surround view camera and this is gonna be giving you a, a better estimation on how close an object is from your side of the vehicle and give you a better perspective. You know, Alberto, when you, when you actually connect this up with autonomous driving, this is going to make such a difference because oh, it's yes. like uh, you have sensors now that tell you, oh, wait, 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 there's something underneath. Underneath. It may not be to the right of you, but there's underneath. Yes, and with the surround view system, what we have the capability is, is not only to look at on the, on the rear uh, view, as we do have right now most, most vehicles, but also a surrounding view. So if somebody's on your, uh, closer to you on the side or in the front, we will have a, such a capability that uh, we have the car available for, I uh, mean, the views around for everybody. I can't wait to see this in a car. Oh, yes. Thank you, you very much. You're welcome.